everybody. So today I wanted to come on and do my second Valentine's Day tutorial for this year. I asked my husband a while back what he wanted to see out of a Valentine's makeup look for me. And he told me he wanted a brick red vampy lip with kind of a dark eye. My husband is a grown up goth child and he likes it every once in a while when I throw in a very vampy dark look. So this is kind of what I came up with. I wanted a deep red lip, which we've obviously accomplished, and I wanted to do a somewhat light eye, but something that you can still tell is there in a dark restaurant. So this is the look I came up with. I'll have all the products I use listed down below in the info bar, along with links as to where you can find them. If you like the way this makeup look turned out, then just keep watching. For the lips, since we are going for a bold kind of brick red, which was the color I was requested, um, I'm going to go in first with my Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liner in Ravish. This is a very kind of brick red, um, definitely, definitely the tone we're going for. So, actually, wipe off the remnants of my chapstick, then go in. Okay, and since that's on there really well, I do go, a, I tend to go a little bit outside my natural lip line on the bottom. My top lip is bigger than my bottom lip, and I would like to fix that. So I do the, just on the outside of my um, lip line on the bottom, and it evens it out really well. So the star of this look is this lipstick, and this is the Wet n Wild Silk finish. These are the 99 cent lipsticks. These are wonderful. This is in the color 508A. This is what we're working with. It's a very raisin dark brick red, which is why we lined our lips. Anyways, okay, so we're going to go in and prime our eyes first. I'm going to use the Micah Beauty Cosmetics Eye Primer. Um, I just find this one stickier than the e.l.f. eyelid primer I normally swear by. If I really want to make something dark and smoky, this is what I'm going for. So now we're going to take our Naked 2 palette. This is my, this is going to be my go-to um, smoky but not smoky look. Because we want something that's going to balance. And forgive me, my blackout fell out. So first, uh, first color we're going to take is Tease, and that is the matte, kind of taupey purple color. We're going to run that through the crease first. Um, but we are going to take YDK, which is this one. But we're going to take YDK and do it all over the lid. When you're using shadows like this, make sure whenever you put them on, you are patting them, especially if you have a primer on. Instead of dragging them, you'll keep from having crazy amounts of fallout underneath your eyes. So next, we are going to take Snake Bite, which is this, um, I'll do it this way, this dark brown that's next to Tease. It has it has some shimmer to it. We're going to do this on the outer corner, kind of do it into an outer V, and then down on the lower lash line. We are going to do our inner corner highlight and our brow bone highlight. And for that, I'm going to use the um, Sigma Precision Tapered, this is the small version of that pointed um, foundation brush we used. And I'm going to go in with Booty Call, which is this pinkish highlight here, and do that on the inner corner and brow bone. So. So that is the eyeshadow for this look. It's still deep and dark, but not overly crazy. And then we are going to do eyeliner. I'm going to tight line my top line with the Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes in black. I'm going to do my um, waterline in the Rimmel Scandalize Nude. Next, since we are going to do falsies, I do want to do some winged liner. I'm going to use my Physician's Formula Eye Booster in Ultra Black. I'm going to tr attempt to do a smaller wing, um, but 
have a tendency to get out of control very quickly. So, here's hoping I don't. So we have our winged liner on. It's a little bit bigger than I would like, but I have two different shaped eyes. So sometimes it's a little bit difficult to get those even. So we have that. We are going to curl our lashes, put on one coat of mascara. This wouldn't really be any coat you or any mascara you want. I use it mainly just to get my eyelashes, you know, darker and, um, ready to blend. I'm going to use the Smashbox Full Exposure because it's what I have in front of me. You can use any black, brown, whatever color mascara you would like. Okay, and now we are going to put on our lashes. These are my newest pair and these are very dramatic. Obviously, you don't have to wear lashes with this. You don't have to wear winged eyeliner with this, you can easily do no eyeliner, some mascara, and look just as good, and it'll look extra natural and whatnot, but I'm dramatic, and I like to be that way. So these are the Ardell um, Wispies. These are the full Wispies, not even the Demi Wispies. So we are going to put these on. I'm going to use my Revlon Precision Lash Adhesive, like I always do. I swear by this stuff. It's the best. I've tried the Duo. I've tried the Ardell, the Salon Perfect. And I absolutely, absolutely swear by this stuff. All right, and after fighting for my eyelashes life on this eye, this eye looks great. We're gonna look at this one. Um, this one went so beyond rogue, it is insanity. All right, so what I always recommend, um, right after you put on your eyelashes and everything's kind of glued and everything's you know steady to where it needs to be, just kind of blink down onto your eyelash or like onto your finger and that will just help direct the eyelash up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my um, eyeliner pen and go over the lash band just to really make it look seamless. Okay, and with these lashes I don't really feel the need to put mascara on them so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my eyelash curler um, very, very lightly clamp them together and really kind of bond them. So as you can see, that makes a huge dramatic difference. The only thing I have left really is I'm going to put some mascara on my bottom lashes and then we will be done with this look. Okay, so that is the finished product. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I really like the way this look turned out. I wasn't quite sure what I was doing whenever I sat down. I knew I needed to do this lip. That's about all the direction I had. So um, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up uh, and hit the subscribe button wherever it is on your screen if you haven't yet already. And if you are interested, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at momlovesmakeup73. And I hope you all have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Thanks.